Biocatalytic science involves research to discover, to modify, to utilize enzymes as a way of producing solutions to human problems. CBB stands for the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing. And we are located at the Research Park at the University of Iowa. So the university has long had a history of multidisciplinary collaboration in the biosciences. The Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing is an integral piece of that. The overarching mission of the CBB is to enhance basic research, education, and economic development in biocatalytic sciences. These elements of our program distinguish the CBB relative to other academic and non-academic biotech centers. The future of the CBB will include advances in research, education, and biomanufacturing. Over 50 research groups are affiliated with our center and fundamental programs in biochemistry, microbiology, pharmacy, medicinal chemistry, chemistry and chemical engineering, and environmental engineering. A big focus of the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing is the manufacturing and preparation of the biologicals such as plasmids and proteins. My research is interdisciplinary. My research team is composed of tumor immunologists, chemical engineers, chemists, pharmaceutical scientists, biomedical engineers, pharmacologists. It's a broad interdisciplinary research team where everybody works together providing their different expertise to make progress in projects that would not be possible with single disciplines. ASL is a biotech startup that has worked with the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing at the University of Iowa for many years. Um, in our early work developing our uh, microbial fermentation monitoring technology, we utilized uh, the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing's expertise um, in doing Picchia pastoris fermentations. Uh, we used their knowledge on doing the fermentation and then actually their equipment to do that work. In the future, I expect for ASL to continue working with the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing to expand ASL's bioprocess monitoring technology to new expression platforms. CBB is known for a number of areas of expertise. In particular, our microbial facility has a lot of expertise in both upstream and downstream processing where upstream is the actual fermentation and the production of the protein of interest, and then downstream is its purification and concentration, which is really quite unique compared to other academic programs because we have many clients from all areas of biotechnology for which we uh, produce products and we do research. The type of manufacturing we do is starting from uh, one end of the spectrum to other end of the spectrum, like cell banking, fermentation scaling up to 1,000 liter, and purifying the whole thousand liter in one batch. Uh, during this process, we have made cell banks, we have made uh, proteins, like which could be a biotherapeutic, vaccines, uh, enzymes, or a proteins for a diagnostic purpose, uh, or a protein for a, or enzyme for a biocatalytic purpose. Infectious Disease Research Institute, IDRI, uh, came to us for a vaccine for leprosy, which we started in our research and process development lab, did the scale up, to 30 liter scale and it moved into a GMP where we made the bulk uh, vaccine molecule and this was transferred to the University of Iowa Pharmaceuticals for fill and finish. Startup companies or clients can come to University of Iowa and it could be a one-stop shop for them. CBB's commitment to quality starts with our management group and there's a trickle-down effect all the way through the staff and we're all dedicated to producing high quality products. That starts first in our RPD facility the number of successful GMP campaigns that the CBP has performed is 60 campaigns for four different companies and that has yielded two oral products, four injectables, and we've made three different seed banks. The CBB runs a very unique training program here at the University of Iowa. It's a training program in biotechnology and there's quite a few biochemistry graduate students whose graduate work is supported by the CBB fellowships. The unique thing about these fellowships is that the students not only have coursework that uh, relates to biotechnology and biocatalysis, but they also have an externship 
So they go off and they work in a company and they really gain quite a lot of experience in a new research environment, as well as a new way that they can potentially think about making a living after they receive their PhD. The Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing has long been a leader in exploring cellular pathways. And anyone who's looked at uh, biochemical engineering at scale knows that one of the great challenges is being able to translate an idea that may work in the laboratory at small scale into production scale. Those are the things that the Center for Biocatalysis and Bioprocessing has worked on for years and it has a track record of success.